actually, here's Ninja. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I have wisdom for us today. And here it is. Don't take the bait. You know, being on social media, I have been shocked. It's like fireworks going off. Someone says this, another says this, and people are getting off social media, not just because of the censorship, but because it's so um, argumentative. And um, wow, to see what's going on even among people that have been friends for years. Don't take the bait. You know, the enemy is always wanting to get you triggered because then you're off the playing field if you're triggered and you get distracted. When I was um, a kid, my grandpa used to take me uh, fishing all the time. And I know we got all these super baits, power baits, whatever these days. But back then, we'd have those red salmon eggs. Um, we had this stinky, garlicky cheese. And then he actually, this is gross. I thought this was normal, but I'm learning it's not. He also had these, we'd get these worms. And then he had a syringe, and he would pump them up with air. <laughs> make them look big and fat for the fish. Anyways. We tried different bait to see what the fish would bite on. And you have to know in this politically charged atmosphere that the enemy is trying different baits to see what's going to get you to bite, to see what you're going to, what's going to trigger you. We are not to take the bait. We are to be fishers of men. So I wanted to read um, some verses today. And I know I read a lot of Bible, but hey, the word of the Lord does not return void. It will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. That's why I read the word of God. So um, here's a couple really good ones about not being triggered, not taking the bait. The beginning of strife is like letting out of water. So abandon the quarrel before it breaks out. A soft word takes away wrath. Excuse me. A soft word turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body, you were called to peace and be thankful. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Okay, don't take the bait. It's a tactic of the enemy. Stay focused on God, the fact that he's good, that he loves you, that he has a plan for you, your family, and our country.